Hallihallo und willkommen zurück zu Mass Effect 3. Wir haben ja gehört, dass äh, Edi nicht wirklich richtig funktioniert. Den Portalagen haben wir auch offen. Schiff. Oh fuck. Ja. Oh fuck. What do you mean offline? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ja, das werde ich gleich tun. Was ist denn hier? Ah, hier ist Joker. Okay. Joker, wir müssen den Fahrstuhl nehmen, das Crew-Deck. Und gucken. Äh, Crew-Deck. Und ich mal zu Garris gehen. <lacht> Und danach gehen wir hier rein. Ja, da sitzen sie alle schon. Schon gesehen, schon gesehen. Aber erstmal möchte ich hier rein zu meinem Garris. The problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. Garris. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. Whatever's wrong with the Normandy isn't down here. Besides, after what I've been through lately. Calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so... Is this the part where we... Shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions. Or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> <laughs> But I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. Ja, diese Szene kommt vor, wenn du im zweiten Teil mit ihm eine Romanze hattest und deswegen fragt er natürlich, möchtest du immer noch oder möchtest du nicht mehr? Und ich bin definitiv noch interessiert. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't want to presume. That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um... <clears throat> Skills made an impression, because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with a token task force, so I'd shut up. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Aber es wird nicht einfacher. Ja. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, we're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper, remember I took the kill shot. <laughs> Oh, der Kerl. Something else you want to talk about. Um, was heißt von der Familie? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. Uh, keine Sorge. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. Hmm. Unsere Siegeschancen? I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, 
But I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. Gar keine Zweifel. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. Yes, wahrscheinlich leider Gottes nicht. Gut. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. <laughs> now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Hmm. Ne, klar, Schätzlein, mach du das mal hier und ich guck mal, was mit Edi jetzt ist. Ich liebe Gary, ist Gary so hot. Ah, ich hoffe wirklich. Huch, haben wir jetzt nicht. Ja, nee, das wollen wir nicht. Wir gucken jetzt, was mit Edi ist. Äh, Dr. Jack Rose. Wie schon nicht. Lass mich mal rein hier. Okay. I'm going in. Okay. Edie, talk to me. Was macht denn Edie? Yo, Edie. Oh. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Mm-hmm. Hey, Moment, was genau ist passiert? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Äh, das war gefährlich. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Uh, testen Sie ihn zuerst? Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. Oh, ED. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Yeah, but that's a crazy mob. We can agree. <laughs> that's a crazy mob, of course. Yo. Check was. was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time, if I may. I'd like to examine you. 
Okay, Vorsicht, ist die Mutter der Porzellankiste? Hier ist ein Check-up, never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Mhm. Mm Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. Okay, super. See you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Dann geschieht. Okay, wir haben mit Garrus gequatscht. Wen haben wir denn hier eigentlich noch auf, auf dem Deck? Ja, wo waren hier die Map? Wo waren hier die Map? Warte, Pinch nach raus. Oder auch nicht. Oder auch nicht. Äh, äh, ich glaube, wir müssen... Ähm, ich glaube, in der Schattenbuch war James. James, die geile Sau. Wer ist er? Cortez. Hallo. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, Shuttle Pilot. Got news about our supply chains, Commander. Stehen Sie bequem, Soldat. Nice to meet you, Lieutenant. What's going on? Sorry to just jump in, Commander. There's so much to be done, I get caught up in the tasks at hand. He's always like that. You need to chill out, Esteban. So you do care, Mr. Vega. Or is that the Cerveza talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. I'm also responsible for logistics, making sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. Okay. Keep up the hard work, but don't kill yourself. Yes, Commander. <laughs> okay, this is auch ein Mitglied von uns. Who is that? Mine. Da ist er. <laughs> da ist er. Da ist er. Ah, oh, James. Hey, boss. So, that Turian's on board now, no? That and Edie's got herself a shiny robot body. What? She got that Cerberus bot and took it over. You're shitting me. Mm -mm. I shit you not. I shit you not. <laughs> you down here for a reason? Or are you just looking? Uh, jetzt sehe ich zu. I did just come to chat, but I might stay for the show. <sighs> Have to work harder than that if you want me to blush. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what there is to talk about. <sighs> you already know my service record. <sighs> I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. <sighs> Well, <lacht> Alter, das Kreuz. Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Natürlich. Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <lacht> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <lacht> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah. And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collector attack. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy them. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You did 
Nope. You can't blame yourself, Vega. 